All Scoops Media, content on info all over the world. Five Dangerous Prisons in California California's prison system has a long history of overcrowding and violence. But in the last decade, the system has become one of the worst in the U.S. due to understaffing and mismanagement. The prison population in California has grown steadily since 1980. In 2005, there were about 170,000 inmates in prisons designed for only 80,000 people. This overcrowding led to a series of problems including increased violence, poor medical care, and limited access to rehabilitation programs. At number 5, we have Folsom State Prison. A homicide investigation is underway right now at the California State Prison in Folsom. Authorities say two inmates, Anthony Rodriguez and Cody Taylor, attacked another inmate in a housing unit yesterday. Officers used foam baton rounds to stop the attack. Several state prisons like Folsom are under court review to end such practices as double selling. Prisoners in protective custody here are single celled, but the more than 1,300 general population cells, cells four and a half feet wide by only 11 feet deep. This afternoon, we are also getting word of a riot at Folsom State Prison. About 20 inmates were involved in this. It happened this morning in one of the facility's medium security housing units. Correctional officers deployed chemical agents to try to stop the violence. Five inmates were transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. No staff were injured. A black, uh, the black car getting into it with another race, it ain't going to be just no one-to-one -one fight. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be all the blacks against all the Mexicans, mandatory. You know what I'm saying? When it go down, and if, if you are black, and if we see you and you ain't getting down, if you ain't throwing, throwing punches, if you just standing around on some scary shit, we gonna roll your ass up. You gotta get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Folsom State Prison is infamous for being one of the oldest prisons in the United States. Folsom State Prison has been overcrowded and full of violence ever since it was opened in 1880. And these are just a few criticisms that have led to its controversy. At the prison, security is quite tight. Guards have also been known in this prison to use extreme force to restore order, as they are so sure that nothing else will work. In 2012, there were at least 10 inmates stabbed by other gang members and one was shot dead. This prison is not only overcrowded, but it also lacks supplies, and it seems the prisoners rely on drugs to cope. At number four, we have Kern Valley State. Brittany Lachey Sampson worked for the California Department of Corrections for about two and a half years. Now she's facing three felony charges and one misdemeanor, accusing her of accepting bribes for contraband cell phones and drugs. Today, Kern Valley State Prison shipped out the last of the Norteños, a northern Hispanic prison gang, making today the first day in four years the prison has been back to normal. It all started in 2009, when a large riot broke out between the Norteños and Sureños, a southern Hispanic prison gang. The death of an inmate at Kern Valley State Prison is being investigated tonight as a homicide. Officials say 37-year-old Abraham Morales was found unresponsive this morning in the cell he shared with 44-year-old Charles Ramirez during a routine security check. Morales died about an hour later. The coroner's office will perform an autopsy to determine the cause of death. And for the third time this year, officials at Kern Valley State Prison are investigating the death of an inmate as a homicide. Of, uh, officials there say they responded to an attack on the maximum security recreational yard around 10 o'clock yesterday morning. Prison officials allege that 40-year-old Anthony Ramirez and 35-year-old Michael Caldera killed 31-year-old Sidney Kang with two inmate manufactured weapons. Back in April, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, CDCR, announced a brutal attack on two correctional officers at Kern Valley State Prison. A dozen inmates attacked the officers in a dorm. One of those officers, Armando Gallegos, who suffered a broken vertebrae in his back, a broken nose, a concussion, and other injuries to his hand and face. At the time, prison officials said Gallegos would not be able to work for a, quote, extended period of time. 
It had been five months, and Officer Gallegos remained under a doctor's care, fighting to recover from his injuries. But Friday, he passed away, leaving behind his wife, Irma. Prison officials say they were conducting a security check yesterday evening when they found 26-year-old Juan Mendoza unresponsive, suffering from visible injuries. Mendoza was found in the cell he shared with Jorge L. Mendoza. Medical staff attempted life-saving measures, but Mendoza later was pronounced dead. At number three, we have California State Prison, Corcoran. Lo and behold, kicks off, boom. They all rush in Ortenos. These dudes get engulfed. And I see my cell over there in action, getting, getting, getting them and watching. I'm like, damn, that fool's getting his money, you know? I felt bad, guys, at the time. I'm going to keep it real. I was, I was conflicted. I was ambivalent about the whole thing. Yes, the Norteños were our enemies, but yes, the Norteños were respectful to me. And so what do you think about the Beatles, right? Because anyone who knows Charles Manson knows about the Beatles. He believed that they were uh, subliminally reaching out to him and saying things in their songs. And uh, he said, I used to listen to him. I didn't listen to him anymore. I asked him about Freemasons. I asked him about, uh, shit, man. I asked him about everything I read in the book. I asked him about Helter Skelter flat out. Blew my mind. I said, uh, I said, what do you, what's up with Helter Skelter? He said it was, he, he said it was a joke. It was fake. It was, it was all along. It was just a joke. The mail only facility is located in Kings County, California. It provides open dorms to closed cells to suit various levels of security needs. The prison is very overcrowded, but it also has the infamous security housing unit and is reported to house prisoners even if they haven't committed any crimes. If you do wrong in solitary confinement, the conditions will no doubt be a living nightmare. This can lead to serious trauma and a lasting impression of this place. At number two, we have San Quentin State Prison. When you disrespect another group, the only way to deal with it is you ask that group to deal with it. That's how it's supposed to be. And so they got it to these individuals and said, you know what? He took off an old homeboy. You guys have to deal with it. The Native Americans said, you know what? And left it at that. My name is Charles Smith, 46 years old. I've been convicted of four gang murders, and I was sentenced to death. Step back away from the cell, please. I've been here 33 years at San Quentin, 35 years since my arrest back in 1980. There's just a layer of smoke up there from all the smoking that was going on. There's little papers floating in the air. People are shooting lines down and catching lines, and I'm seeing all these strings getting fished up and down. There's people running around on tiers. Uh, not many, but a few. Right, It's kind of late in the evening at this point. Located up in the north of San Francisco, this prison is one of California's oldest and was opened during the Gold Rush era. It opened in 1852 and has a lot of controversies. The prison has been in popular film, videos, and TV programs, but it's not all wonderful. Despite offering inmates various activities, the conditions don't appear to improve much. The prison is infamous for the brutal treatment of inmates, denying access to basic necessities and overcrowding. COVID-19 was raging at the prison, and 12 inmates died within two months. It is reported that inmates, especially the older ones, repeatedly weren't given access to needed medical care. At number one, we have Pelican Bay State Prison. As soon as I get up there, we on lockdown. The blacks on the south side. What happened? The homie from Broadway came up here. They got word. They tried to take off on him in the, uh, in the infirmary or something like that happened before I got there. So when I get there, we on lockdown because of that. Now, that triggered a whole bunch of other events. You know how I go. They try to they try to bring it to the homie from Broadway.
how easy was it to get messages in and out? Easy. easy. Real easy. Mm -hmm. easy. Real yeah, easy. You, you These four men took the deal. Epi Cortina brutally beat and murdered a fellow gang member. He lived on the shoe for nine years before he renounced his membership in the Mexican-American gang Nuestra Familia. In the hole, man. How was it going to the hole? I mean, uh, the yard. <laughs> oh, man, well, that's, that's the only time you really get to see any kind of, like, sunlight, because there's a little bit of sunlight uh, above. But, uh, I mean, they give you a handball. Uh, you know, you can, you can sit there and play handball. You know, you can work out. This prison has an extremely bad reputation, which over the past few years has improved due to multiple lawsuits filed by former inmates. However, there are still issues with overcrowding and a lack of rehabilitating programs. This prison is a maximum security facility. It's known for housing some of America's most notorious criminals, meaning many of them often die there. In the early stages of the facility, accusations of beaten inmates dying guards having them fight their enemies, not approving the overuse of drugs and allowing prison gangs to flourish with prisoners being beaten. The situation on the inside changed after the 2013 hunger strike, but is not at its best and may not be for some time. California's prison system is in a state of crisis. The prisons are overcrowded and the inmates are not receiving adequate care. The state needs to take drastic measures to improve the prison system. They need to reduce the population of inmates and provide better medical care for those who are incarcerated. For more content on info all over the world, please like and subscribe to our channel, All Scoops Media.